Oh, that was fucking disgusting. Oh. Oh. Liquor is not for me. One and it's done, then it's two, two a.m. I can't get you out of my head. No, I can't get you out of my head. I can't get you out of my head. One, then it's done, then it's two, two a.m. I can't get you out of my head. No, I can't get you out of my head. <laughs> I, I, I. <sighs> what inspired you to your name? You gonna ask me that after I just took that shot? That shit sitting in my chest. <laughs> um, a horrible relationship. The worst relationship in lesbian history, okay? I was down fucking bad. That girl had me down fucking bad. I was being abused verbally and physically manipulated. Cheated on all types of shit, man. All fucking types of shit. I had originally wrote that song, I think in July of 2021. This was like way after we broke up. And then I had took a solo trip to LA in December of 2021. Um, I had locked myself in the crib. And I was writing music and I had finished. 2 a.m. in L.A. It wasn't called 2 a.m. in L.A. then. I don't remember what it was called. Once I had actually finished the song, since I was in L.A. and in, in L.A. and it was literally 2 a.m. when I was done with it, that became the, the 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 name of it. So there's that. A bad fucking relationship and a trip to L.A. inspired the song. <laughs> yes and no. I feel like there's a really thin line between trash. One person's trash could be Beyonce to somebody else. For me, when it comes to something being trash, it's really like the aspects of the song, like flow, delivery, mixing, the mastering, like all that stuff. That's what can make a song trash to me. But like if a song is not necessarily in my music taste, that doesn't mean it's trash. It's just something that I would have listened to. But yeah, yes and no, pretty neutral body when it comes to that. I don't like to knock somebody else's creative process. Homophobia, sexism, colorism. I feel like the list is really long and I'll be here all day, but those are like the main three things. Oh, double standards, all that stuff. Like, I really would like to change. I really hate how, like, a light skinned rapper or whatever can get clout way quicker than some of these you know brown scared dark scared girls that be working up trying to get up there all they all the light-skinned girls gotta do is shake their ass a little bit sound the trash as fuck boom they don't blow up but we got people that gotta work hard to get up there even if they shaking ass so all that shit could get changed it will really have to depend on the numbers and the circumstances. At this point, I do feel like I would like to remain independent because I have literally control over everything that I'm doing and all the money that comes to me comes to just me. I don't have to split that with nobody. No percentage got to go to nobody else. Being independent is hard because you literally have to fund yourself, but I would rather fund myself and get 100% profit back to that than to be funded by somebody and I don't even got control over my image, what I'm putting out, how I'm putting stuff out, things like that. So I just, it, it's really something that would be like a case by case scenario. Like I have to, you know, outweigh my pros and cons, but I can't say at this moment, I do want to remain independent.